We need safe places. We need places to celebrate our culture. Hi, I'm Kara Weisenstein, and this is Culture Beat, the Creators Project's bi-weekly roundup of the most exciting, outlandish, and mind-expanding art content we can get our hands on. In this episode, we'll check out the fashion at the annual Afropunk Festival in Brooklyn, talk to artist Landon Meyer about his hyper-realistic masks, and revisit our video profiling Trevor Paglin's deep water search for internet cables. Afropunk is known as much for style as its musical acts. We visited the festival to dig deeper into this fashion phenomenon. You know, Afropunk to me is not a music genre, it's a mindset. The mindset being we challenge ourselves and explore that enables us to kind of free ourselves up of any preconceived notions. One of our biggest triumphs is the diversity within the black community. So we have skate kids, we have punk kids, we have metal kids, kids are into electronic music, kids are into R&B and hip hop. When you hear music, essentially you want to like put a face to that person. You want to go, go, you go to a show, you want to see what they're doing, what they're wearing. Music and style are, are one. You've got people really exploring identity. It's constantly evolving. I think that's what's most exciting about both the audience, the music. It doesn't stay the same year to year. Landon Meyer's hyper-realistic masks have gone viral on more than one occasion. We travel to Denver to check out exactly how those masks are made. Traditionally, it's something you do for Halloween. It's Mardi Gras. If I can make this realistic enough, I can do something really new with masks. So I was drawn to it from that nature and the surreal nature of what I could do with that. I think people react really intensely to my masks because there is that moment where they think it's real. I went through the education of traditional sculpting. That process I always found pretty tedious. Now I've moved on to using a program called ZBrush. It's a 3D sculpting program. And I find it so much more intuitive. I made a Walter White mask. Somebody from the Breaking Bad team told Brian Cranston. We set it up then that Brian Cranston would wear the Walter White mask at Comic-Con. It was pretty awesome. It was the highlight of my career so far, for sure. Artist and researcher Trevor Paglin learned how to scuba dive to find the internet cables that line the ocean floor, connecting continent to continent. Last year, the Creators Project met Paglin at Art Basel Miami and went along on one of his dives. We know that the internet has been turned into the greatest instrument of mass surveillance in the history of mankind. Continents are connected to each other through undersea cables. The NSA, they refer to these as choke points. And you can tap these choke points. You can see a huge amount of the world's internet traffic. I spent a lot of time looking at maritime charts, environmental impact statements, looking at documents from the Snowden Archive, trying to put together an image of where I might be able to find these cables. I wanted to see what they look like. So when you see these cables, you're looking at the information superhighway in the flesh, as it were. Uh, don't touch it. <laughs> Everyone's ready? Yeah. Ready. Yep. Dive, dive, dive. There it is. There's the internet. He found a needle in a haystack. You're looking for cables about yay big in the ocean. I think it's pretty amazing. Those cables are very innocuous looking. I think that was the most engaging thing about them is the fact that they are the physical manifestation of something that we conceive of not to be a physical thing. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Culture Beat. We'll see you next time for more great arts and culture stories from around the world. <laughs>